Hello mga kasenior, it's our second day here in Antique and today we will be exploring more of the heritage sites dito sa Antique. So uh, we're driving to Aninii and we'll be visiting the century-old Baroque church in Aninii and then we'll leap, uh, tatawid tayo ng boundary to Iloilo and bibisitahin naman natin ang uh, very historic and heritage town of San Joaquin visiting its uh, church as well as its cemetery. Kaya tara samahan niyo ako as we continue our journey and adventure dito sa Antique and Iloilo. Kaya tara na and let's go! Sela Boutique Hotel. Ganda. Ang mga choices. Gusto ko ito hot sardines. natin dito sa Capitolio and then we're going to check the painting of a national artist and it's all in the back that's what I'm doing Pat kaya na pinarun? Ah, so di to sa exact spot na ito. Tapos na, de di to po siya tinira na baril. Ah, it be your beer. This sculpture was made by Napoleon Abueba. Asurin, one of the oldest heritage houses here in Antique. So it's an important cultural property. It's a fully restored. Very nice naman. At ito po yung uh, painter. Yeah. I was surprised that my artwork was this painter. <laughs> this, uh, this, the title of so, this so painting. Surprise, surprise, mo kagabi yan. <laughs> <laughs> the, the painting style. Eh, kaya kunyari, hindi niya alam. Pero pinalagay, pinalagay niya kagabi yan, ha? <laughs> kunyari, hindi niya alam. <laughs>
landing and the barter of Panay. So, nagsettled ba sila dito sa... They settled here because they uh, believe that this is a lot nearer Majaas, the place where they believe their God is uh, residing. So, uh, dito sila sa Malandog. Kasi, wow! Um, in the area of Tulasi, is that like a point pa puntang Uh, stop po, stop, stop po, stop Para maganda yung picture niya, dito lang kami mga Two of the ten Bornean tattoos Dato Paliburong at siya yung may hawak ng Golden sa lakot. Entrance na river kung saan nagpasaan sa ito. Yan yung river na yan. Antic Cemetery, yung kanyang chapel. origin ng antique, hamtik or the black ants and yung meron sila depiction dito sa hamtik
ang ibig po sabihin ng kami karon, kamodason, is kami karon, kami po ngayon, kamodason, tayo ang susunod. Ayoko sumunod. <laughs> Yan. Unusual cemetery. Ah, uh, anong lugar to? Uh, this is part of uh, Dao, um, uh, Tobias Stone. What's the old name of the... Old name of the place? Dao. Ah, Dao. Okay. Patay ng island. Sige po, diretso, diretso. Ito yung... Tanay, di ba? Ito yung medyan yan. Parang yung... I-seldom visits the farm. Ang sabi ng mga wicked Ilo-Ilo. Marami din namang political clan in Ilo-Ilo City. Pero yung yung ano, yung galing family, yung mga sinasabi sa kanila. Kaya ang dami nilang loyal leaders dahil the community was well taken care of. Uh, tapos yung second point is yung Bugnayan point. And then the last point is the Naso. And all three of that, they form the well-known Festa di Gallo, the location of Eli Pu. So um, each point have something to offer. Like, the Bugalang point is known for the wheat coral forests and the Rayong Paros Pantes that are more than 500 years old. Even when they build the churches, they still exist. So, it's actually a cultural heritage that life for the Bukai that has existed and has seen the world ever since.
Alex, ano yung sabihin nung nakasulat doon sa entrance ng... Uh, Ang ibig po sabihin nung mapanhaw kami is we will rise again. We will rise again. Yeah. We will rise again. Yeah. Um, uh, dahil sa tabing tayong dagat, ang cemetery dito mayroong... Uh, coconut trees, di ba? Napaka-tropical setting naman yung cemetery niya. Dito yan sa anini. Ayun siya pa sa gitna. Sa dulo. At uh, pagkatapos nun, tabi na agad na. Yung penso. Ito. Tapos tayo ulit yung cemetery. Ito yung uh, old entrance. Dito tayo sa Siraan Hot Springs sa Aninii pa rin. This is uh, managed by the local government unit of Aninii. Siraan Hot Spring in Aninii at yes. Ike and um, we can see here yung uh, bukal no? yes. so I, this is uh, yeah. <laughs> the entire area where yung, you can see um, where the bubbles are uh -oh. so fresh water siya Yes po. Okay. Yung umuusok. Uh Oo. -oh. And then uh, heated po siya. Heated oh, Because of, there's, I think there's an uh, there's a volcanic activity here. Um, kasi parang may meeting of the plates. That's why you can also um, see doon sa taas magda mamaya yung um, VVOX Research uh, and Monitoring Center. Is it possible that the whole anini area is volcan? Is a volcano? Pwede po. Possible. Uh, possible. Then, uh, like a rounded area on the uh, Samat. Yeah. Oh. And oh. we'll never know. Baka mayroon din yun, no, underground Under uh, uh, you know, volcano. Oh, uh -huh. Kasi ito po sir, at yung cliff na ito, ang lalim na po nito. Yung uh, coastline nitong uh, Siraan Hot Spring. Kaya so, parang nagba, nagsiship yung mga ano, yung lupa. Uh -huh. Hindi siya stable. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ito na so, so uh, boundary na to ng antike ng almost pero hindi pa. Ano ano anong punto? Anong punto? Punta Naso. Punta Naso. Naso point sa map. Okay. Ganun. Ito ay run area. May drop siya. May drop siya. Mga siguro mga 5 si, 7 meters na and then drop na siya, wall na siya kaagad. Wow. wow. Maganda, maganda talaga dito sa. How about the corals? Anong anong stat stado ng corals niya? Fair, fair condition. Hindi pa talaga like totally very good kasi for a while, for a time maraming fishing activities dito eh. Uh, so, but uh, visibility wise maganda dito pag ganitong pad. Pag uh, ano naman 
mga habagat o yung pag uh, umulan medyo yung rough yung visibility na kasi yung water from the mainland dito nag ano eh nagdaday dito sa dago but still manageable na magpanan naman Parang ano siya, how would you call that? Country ah, ito, ito. Uh, Parang ano siya, uh, kahoy na boat na naging, ano, naging rock na sa katapalan ng Kaya lang na-erode. Remember, it happened in 1212. So, uh, namukhang boat. At makikita mo pa ang mga port tools niya. I have an old picture of this place. Oo. Oh, oh. Nung I first, when I first came to terrorize ang natin, <laughs> una akong naging terrorism officer, mga unang panahon na naging terrorism officer ako. I still have it. We need ka talaga mga early. So ito yung view sa seaside restaurant. Together with X, we had established the community-based ecotourism site. It took us a long time para bumalik dito. Nagulat ako no may may hugit structure na dyan. Ang um, Marian Sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, there's a good afternoon po. Mabuhay. Buhay. Ay, 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 Sikap munding po. Hmm. Hindi na po. po. Siya po yung, siya po yung, ano, yung tanong nagpursigi na magkaroon talaga ng, ng marine protected area na i-open namin sa community. Mm -hmm. Ang lahat ng marine protected area is funded and uh, maintained by the municipal city of San Joaquin. Ito lang ang self-sustaining, ito lang ang niran ng community, ito lang ang minanage ng community, at ito lang din ang naging, ano, naging source of livelihood nila. Because nagkaroon po sila ng convergence of communities. Yung mga matatanda, yung mga, mga bata, yung mga babae, um, yung fisher folks, uh, they all came together and... Uh, sector by sector, nag-establish po sila ng mga bahay-bahay which would uh, get rent from the guests who are coming over here. Most of the guests are students and researchers who would study about the, the area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it gives them income, additional income, and it is what spurred tourism in this place. So, nang, nang na-establish po sila and people would keep coming in, wala po silang accommodation na, man, na malaki. Kaya nagkaroon ng seaside po. So, may, may establishment po, may mga cottages po, may decent cottages po na, na mag-accommodate ng guests nila. They were trained. They were aayos ng lahat-lahat ng bagay. Hindi also, um, uh, parang guardian na rin siya. At, and he would teach people how to snorkel, how to basic diving. Ang uh, ngayon ng kanilang OUM Sileo. 
Uh, they need younger blood. Mm -hmm. So King George, medyo senior na siya. He helps around, pero uh, he stays here. But the main task of uh, doing the job is... So, um... Direct po dito. Wow, ang ganda na. Ang itong pinabit sa amin. That's Carmen. It's ano, meron siyang luya sa loob. Ah, na, na ano yan, <laughs> na i-bless, na, na, eh hindi na-bless, na, na ritualan, ah. na ritualan ng isang bangailan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, kahit na tuyot na siya, it can still serve ah. its purpose. Mm, so, ang, anong, anong purpose? to keep you safe all throughout your stay uh, in the parang ano na pangontra sa mga yun, bad parang uh, gate pass spirits, parang bad ID spirits. na access pass sir ba mm. access pass mm. uh, roughly translated uh, it's mm. how it's explained access pass like and the protection, uh, protection. so pa'y sa Tubog Beach Resort here we are entrance 50 pesos a boat this is the name that I call it Pebble Beach
the ruins of the uh, convento. Pasukin natin. And it was, it was built the same year as the, the church. So, pasok tayo. So, ito yung convento. So the baptism by San Juan Bautista is, is original ano pa to? Coral stone. Naka coral stone. Naka ukit po ito sa bato. Ha bato ito. Original din pala. Jo, ah, So, may football din pala dito. Yung hometown talaga ng football. Barota. Barota. And did you know that the first football player ng Pinoy was at Ilongo? Diba? Yung yung record na na break lang 300. Ni Messi just recently, diba? Pedro Alcantara. Pedro Alcantara. Paulino. 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 So, mga bata na ito. Paulino, who became a football player at the age of 16. When he played for the Philippine team. 
ka pala kasi mahangot. <laughs> Ay, ikaw pa naman. Matakpan ka ng ganyan. Nasa gitna natin siya. Ay, diretso na nun. Okay. Tapos ito yung mga bus. Ito yung mga gustos na mga former mayors. Yan, yeah, nangga. And ito, ano to? Gabaldon. Uh, Gabaldon Realty. Okay. It's, it's still, ano, functional. mga kasinyor, katatapos lang natin ng dinner ngayong ating ika second day dito sa Antique and uh, today was another long day dahil ang dami nating naikot we actually uh, drove uh, and explored natin ng mga towns sa southern tip ng Panay Island so it included three towns of uh, Antique and the first town of Iloilo so we started very early uh, nag, uh, we had a very Nice, delicious breakfast dito sa Sela Hotel. And then, nag-proceed uh, muna tayo sa poblasyon ng San Jose. Uh, Pinuntahan natin yung kanilang Kapitolyo kung saan nakita natin ng work sa isang national artist si Elizalde na nandun sa, sa may lobbies mo ng Kapitolyo. And then, after that, inuwi ko tayo sa, sa, sa tourism area, doon sa lugar ng Ebelio uh, uh, Javier Park, and then, finally, Pinuntahan natin ang Casa Azurin na uh, isa sa mga remaining uh, accessory house dito sa Antique at uh, na-restore na rin siya. At ay nga, nag-proceed na tayo sa Hamtik, ang next town, where we went, visited the giant status of uh, the Ten Bornean Datus. As well as we visited the beautiful uh, centuries-old uh, uh, simbahan sa loob ng kanilang cementerio. From Hamtik, we proceeded to Tobias Pornier. Bumisita ulit tayo sa kanyang bayan, sa poblasyon. Nakita natin simbahan at saka yung uh, monumento ni Pugnier. And then, nagpunta rin tayo sa unusual cemetery nila. After that, dumaretso na tayo sa, sa isa sa, sa bayan na aninitin. Lugan na matagal lang natin gusto po tandal. Hindi ko natin actually yung kanilang coastal road. At nakita natin ang fully restored na Spanish era church ng uh, anini and then uh, dumaan din tayo sa kanilang cemetery. After that, nag-cross na tayo ng boundary to San Joaquin kung saan ang unang natin pinuntahan ay eh, ang sim ilan sa mga uh, uh, coastal beaches, mga beach sa uh, tabi ng dagat. Nagpunta tayo sa isang community-based uh, fishing project na, na napakaganda ng mga lock formation and another one na yung Pebble Beach sa San Joaquin. So, ngayon pala, ang daming talagang 
magandang segmented that in empty basis. After that, nagpunta na tayo sa pinaka-population mismo na sa Joaquin. Pinisitahan natin talaga ang kanilang uh, napakagad na simbahan na inspired by the Battle of Tetuan. At uh, ngayon natin na simbahan at kanyang mga atlumins ng kanilang kumbento. And finally, uh, pinuntahan natin ang isa sa pinakamagandang sementera sa buong Pilipinas, ang Campo Santo ng San Joaquin. After that, bumalik ulit tayo rin sa so, using the mountain road. So, yan. Ang dami na nga naman natin napuntahan at I hope na nagustuhin nyo ang ating biyahe ngayon dahil uh, si-share ko isa. I'm always very happy to share them with you. So, komentan kayo at bisitahin lang ninyo ang mga uh, lands o mga lugar na pinuntahan natin yan. So, maraming salamat sa panonood. Travel Radio Ken. Until my next vlog, see you soon!